jubilant Prince Philip joins Queen in greeting winners at Guards Polo Club in Windsor. Prince Philip looked in fine health as he joined the Queen in awarding Cartier Cup match winners at the star-studded Guards Polo Club, a day after he was seen enjoying a horse and carriage ride through Windsor Castle following a spell of bad health. The Duke of Edinburgh looked chirpy as he greeted winners at the Windsor-based Polo Club with the Queen. Her Majesty, 92, and her husband, 96, presented trophies to winners of the Cartier Cup at Guards Polo Club. The Queen dazzled in a powder blue coat, while Philip looked in remarkable health following a hip operation earlier in April. Philip, who retired from public duties last year, shook hands with guests as the royal couple seemed in exceptionally high spirits. The prestigious Cartier Polo Show, held annually, is named in the Queen's honour and attracts high-profile guests. Society girls including ladies Alice and Violet Manners were in attendance, alongside names from showbiz including Tinny Tempa, Sabine, and Joseph Getty and actresses Lily Collins and Jenna Coleman. It is also one of the top five polo tournaments in the world, attracting the biggest names in the sport. This weekend has seen Philip return to the spotlight after he was last seen at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding in Windsor on May 19. It also emerged that the prince, the oldest member of the royal family, is expected to attend Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooksbank's wedding later this year. The pair will tie the knot on October 12, and the Duke of Edinburgh is expected to be present, according to royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams. The news came despite the Duke of Edinburgh's absence from the Trooping the Colour festivities last weekend. Mr. Fitzwilliam said, the Duke of Edinburgh's absence from Trooping the Colour may well have been because the Duke of York had succeeded him as Colonel of the Grenadier Guards, and the Duke of Kent was with the Queen as he was when Prince Philip was absent in 2013. The idea behind the Duke's retirement was that he would attend events when he wanted to, or was able to. I do expect he will be at Eugenie's wedding, he has recovered well from hip surgery as we saw at Harry and Meghan's nuptials. We won't know if he will be attending royal events, so it will be an added bonus when he does. After 64 years of service, Prince Philip retired from public life last August. During this time, he undertook 22,191 solo engagements and gave 5,493 speeches.